up fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Jamato buckle from Kamen Rider Geats, which was firstly used by the Jamato themselves, but then later on Buffa started using one. Uh, I don't want to go too much into it in case you guys aren't up on it, but it's been a fair amount of time now, but watch Geats. If you're not watching Geats, definitely check it out. So we get the buckle here and then we get this kind of like cracked core ID. You can take a look at them here on the top. Not really too much going on on the bottom. Over on this side just says Jamato Buckle. And then just telling you the contents inside. This was a premium Bandai release. I think this came out around a month or so ago. I know I've been a little behind. Uh, three watch batteries are included. So that's always nice. So pretty standard packaging for this one. Honestly, I feel like this could have been a retail release. I'm not really sure why it was pushed to premium Bandai. But then again... A lot of things have been pushed to Premium Bandai that would normally be retail, so I guess it's just par for the course at this point. But let's go ahead, let's get everything out of the box here, and let's take a closer look. So here's everything you get in the box. Uh, up first we have the Cracked Dead Core ID. It's kind of this butterscotch color. Not really much going on here. Would have been nice if they kind of just did like a black wash on this just to kind of bring out the detail a little bit more, but it is what it is. Uh, then we have the Jamato buckle itself, which you can see does kind of have that wash to bring out some of the detail, but also I think it's supposed to be kind of like dirt because they're plants, but nice uh, green paint into the purple. I think that looks really sharp. I think this looks really cool from the front. Over here on the back, you have this ridiculously bright green, almost looks like glow-in-the-dark <laughs> piece of plastic. I love it. It definitely did not need to be this color, but it's fun. Uh, number 74, there is the QR code. All this really does on its own, there is a button here on the back, and you had to pull out, I think the tab was over here, the batteries are included. So if we hit the button, so it does have the LED there which lights up, but that's it, that's the only sound it makes, you know, if you hold the button down it doesn't do anything else. I thought maybe they would put some phrases or something into it, but not the case. Just hitting that button while it's not attached to anything just plays that that music and that's pretty much it. That's all we got going on here. So let's go ahead. Let's bring in the desire driver. All right. First up, pop in the core ID. As you can see, since it's kind of opaque, the light doesn't really shine through. So now we'll go ahead and pop this on. So it says Jamato, you can see the light underneath shining through a little bit. And then if we hit the button again. And that's it. You get the Ja 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 strike attack. Again, holding the button down doesn't do anything, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, just for fun, we'll bring in Zombie. So you'll notice it doesn't really like play another sound when you connect another uh, raise buckle. I'm going to do zombie first. So, yeah, it's a little weird. It doesn't quite, you know, play both of them. I'm going to do it one more time here. So 
So if you want both to play, you kind of have to do zombie first and then add Jamato. So they don't really work well together. As far as the Magnum Shooter 40X goes, the directions actually specifically call out not putting it in here. And the reason for that is as you kind of pop this in, it will fit. But then as you slide it up, almost before it'll actually click into place, this part will hit the top. So unfortunately, you can't click it in. Um, it can get about that far. It's very close. It only needs maybe another half an inch or so, and then it could click into place. But it just doesn't have the room to do that and that's why the directions sp specifically call out do not put this in the magnum shooter 40x i think if you just slammed it in there it would break something and that's why they're warning you not to do it so i gotta admit kind of disappointed with this one it really just doesn't do all that much especially for a premium bandai item i feel like they would have put some phrases or something in here maybe some extra sound effects i do appreciate the led and of course it comes with the batteries included which is nice and it does give you the core ID, which, of course, is accurate to the show. But you can even see on the packaging, it looks like it's supposed to have kind of a black wash. I feel like that would have really just brought out the details and made it look a little better. Because honestly, as this is, it's kind of boring. And it's opaque, so the light doesn't shine through. It's, it's just kind of here. Just kind of a butterscotch lump. And I don't know, like I said, it really would have benefited from some kind of paint in here to bring out all that cracked detail. And like I said, it even looks like it should on the packaging here. I mean, you can see it, and I don't know why that got skipped. I mean, this is a premium Bandai item. They should be able to put that paint effect in there. Um, the buckle itself, I think, looks good. I like all the paint, you know, the green, uh, the, the brown, the purple. I think all that looks sharp. Again, I do appreciate the LED, but it just doesn't do anything. I mean, it makes two, well, I guess technically three sounds. If it's not connected and you hit the button, it plays that ramp up music. When you connect it, it says Jamato. When you do the attack, it says Ja 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 Strike. That's it. That's all we have. For a premium Bandai item, that's really sparse. And I feel like this, and I, I can't prove this, and I don't think we'll ever know for sure, but it would not surprise me to learn that this was originally planned for retail, and then it just got pushed to premium Bandai just because... I mean, honestly, I don't know why. Geats has been having this weird thing this whole year where stuff that should be retail is getting pushed to premium Bandai, and I don't think it's because their sales are bad. It's just like they don't have room for it in their slate. I don't know what's going on, but we've seen it with Soto stuff. We've seen it with the uh, Revolve Change figure line, and I'm assuming we're seeing it now with this because this should have been retail. For, as, for what this does, I don't see why this needed to be a premium Bandai item. And if you're going to switch it to Premium Bandai, that's fine, but then soup it up a little bit. Give us that black wash on this. Maybe put a few phrases into this. doesn't have to be a ton. You know, three, five phrases. Make it do something else. I don't know. Like, it should have special compatibility with Buffa or something. Then again, maybe that just wasn't built into the driver, so that's the problem. But you have batteries in this. You could have put extra sounds in here. I don't know. It would have been difficult, but something. Maybe there could be, like, a Buffa mode. Maybe you could hold the button down and it goes into, like, the Buffa mode, and then the sounds are different. Different, something like that. I just feel like if you're going to push this to premium Bandai, you should have souped it up a little bit because this just really does not do much. In my opinion, I don't think you need this. I mean, unless you're going to be a Geats completionist, I just, I don't think it's worth it. I think this is something maybe pick up down the line on Mandarake or something for a couple bucks. But from what I remember, I think this was like 30 to $40 before, you know, all the middleman fees and shipping and everything like that. So at the end of the day, I just, I really don't think this is worth the price. Like I said, if you can find it, you know, at the secondhand site, something like that, later on down the line for 20 bucks, 25 okay, I think it's worth it. But I just, I don't know, for what this costs, I feel like if you're going to push it to Premium Bandai, they definitely should have souped this up a little bit, and it feels like they just didn't care and it's just kind of a it just kind of lands flat in my opinion maybe i'm being too hard on it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i want to hear from you guys but i'm just really underwhelmed here so let me know what you think in the comments below please like share and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks so much for watching